um, so you guys can, uh, you guys can, uh, look back to this. Okay, so, you have a level right now on Malik's computer. That's fantastic. Character running around a level. That's step one. Uh, step two, you're probably wondering, there's files all over the place, right? You got character files, you got level file, you got programming code, you got lighting. Anwar, shh. You got all kinds of stuff all over the place. How do we get that all together in a consistent, like a, like a pipeline, right? There's no pipeline to find right now. I'm gonna teach you guys the pipeline that we use here. It's called SVN. Has anybody ever heard, S ever heard these words before? Yeah. SVN. I've heard those letters before. Okay, SVN's really cool. SVN. SVN, yeah. And basically what it is, it's like a server where you keep all your stuff. And it's local here to Richland so that you guys have your own server for your game. And um, it's up all the time. You can access it from here or you can pull the data uh, at, at, at home. How much, how big is it? Like how much can we hold? Infinite. Oh, yeah. um, basically what it is, it's, it's basically my office computer. So I have like, what, a terabyte, you know, whatever it is. Um, if you run out of space, well, that, that won't happen. But um, Okay, so the way that this works is, and I want everybody to do this. Okay, Malik, you've got the level on that computer, right? Yeah. So we're going to put the game in the tree right now. So everybody... put the assets up in there, too. Right, we can do all that. So everybody fire up my computer here and uh, go to storage D. And what I want you to do is make a new folder in the D drive. And um, I didn't know what the project name was. So what's the name? Do you have a project name? Bury the Hatchet. Uh, OK, so B-U-R-Y, Bury the, the H-A-C-H-E-T. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. All right, Bury the Hatchet. Cool. We're all doing this, correct? We are all doing this. Yes, every computer in this room, if you're on Bury the Hatchet team. Yes. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, so SVN's already on on these computers. So you right click on that folder, bury the hatchet, and you go to SVN checkout. Okay. And there is a URL that you need to put in here. And the URL is HTTPS colon slash slash capital T. 244 capital D dash one forward slash SVN lowercase forward slash project Maya capital P capital M and I didn't know what your project was called so I just called it project Maya because I thought it was like Indians or something I can't remember what you were working on and I'm going to I'm going to put it up, I'll blow it up real big here so everybody can. Um, yeah, hang on, hang tight. Make sure this has got to be, the, it's case sensitive, so make sure that is. Uh, everybody got it? No. No. Probably a good idea to like somebody take a picture of this, write it down, project lead, most likely. Okay, so you can again you can pull you can pull this game from from your house, you know, or wherever in, in Starbucks, wherever. Doesn't matter. Alright, everybody got this? No. So uh okay, guy that just got here. Uh, make a folder on the D drive and call it uh, Bury the Hatchet. And right click on it and go SVN Checkout. Wherever that is. And then this will pop up and just type in this URL in that location. All right, so everybody else, go ahead and hit OK. And accept the certificate permanently. And it's going to ask you for a username and a password. And there are three usernames here. Okay, you have art, level, and programmer. Okay, and all the passwords are Richland one. And there's a reason. Depending on what your job is, you will be use either this. So art guys, 3D guys, animators, um, concept guys are art. Level guys are like Malik. And also designers like 
and then programmers are obviously programmers. Cool? cool? So for example, I'll just go ahead and put in art, and then the password is richland1. Save authentication, and hit OK. And there we go. We've pulled down Barry the Hatchet. There are no files in there right now. So what... Uh, Right, so um, I have no files for the project on this computer, but Malik does. So um, actually, you know what, I'm going to put a test file in here and then Malik can do the level. So um, Malik, you just go ahead and follow along with what I'm doing and put the game in there. Okay, so for example, now bury the hatchet, that folder is now green. Okay, there's a little green check marks on, on bury the hatchet. Yeah, yeah, hit OK, yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna come in here, and what I'm going to do, actually, I'll go ahead and I'll put this in here. File save as. I'm going to make a folder here, and I'm going to call it, uh, you guys aren't doing this, by the way, just me. I'm going to make this folder and call it game. And uh, I'm going to save this file in here. Um, server. And we will save that to D, bury the hatchet, game, save. OK. So in D, bury the hatchet, there's a game folder, and there's, a, there's an SVN server text in there. OK? So when I put files in here, they don't automatically go onto the server. These are just local right now, because I've created new files. And what I want to do, if I want to put this in the server, it, it's kind of like a library. Okay, so it's like, it's, it, it's, it's based on like a checkout system. So if there's a file already in, if there's a book already in the library, um, if there's a book in the library, that means I can check it out. See you, Timmy. Um, but if somebody's reading that book, I can't, I can't check it out, can I? So for example, if a programmer's working on the build, another programmer can't check out the build and work on it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So one guy will be working on it at one time, you guys all work in your separate stuff, and then when somebody's done, you know, hey, are you done? Okay, then you pull down all the data, and then you work on it, and then you commit. So I'm going to commit this. I just put a new file in the tree. I'm going to right-click on this directory here. And you guys aren't doing this, just me. And you go to Tortoise SVN Add. Okay, and it tells you what you want to add. Go ahead and click OK, and complete it. So this is add. There's a blue plus, and this is added, but it's not committed. Okay, there's a two-part process to put something in a server. So now I want to commit this. I'm, I'm like 200%. So now I can go. I could go back if I want. If I go towards SVN, uh, revert. I believe, um, or something. Okay. What's that? Undo add. Did you see that? Yeah. So if I wanted to undo this and I go, oh, I don't want that file in there. Whoops. You'd undo it. But if I want to commit, now I right click on it and I go SVN commit, and then this pops up and tells me what files. And then what I'm going to do is. Since, since we all don't have individual, in a, in a real studio, you would all have your own account. So for example, if Anwar committed something and broke the game, I would know that it was Anwar. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, type in. Basically a chain of custody on whatever you've been having your hands on. Exactly. So cur I'm going to type in Cura, my last name, dash, added SVN text. OK? And then I hit OK. So now it's committing. So it pushes that to the server. Now I want you guys to go to the Bury the Hatchet folder, right click on it, and go SVN Update. So when you do an SVN update, what happens? So, it, so I added that file, and then you guys updated, and then you were able to pull. Now in Bury the Hatchet, you should have a game folder, mm -hmm. and you should have an SVN server. So Malik, you should take all the game files yeah. and put them in here, and then select them all, right-click Add, mm -hmm. select them all, right-click Commit, all right. and then put a note in there. So, but before you do that, um, uh, actually, yeah, go ahead and do that. All right, in the entire folder, right? The game. Let, me, let me see what you got. Hold on, before you do that. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what about my stuff? Like, the three apps? Yes, so I'll, I'll cover that in a second. Okay, so say I put this... 
say Anwar put this file in here and it broke the game. So what you do is you go, well, who, who broke the game? So you, you right click on the file, or actually you can right click on the folder, or bury the hatchet here, and I'm going to go to Tortoise SVN Show Log. And what this is going to do is going to show all the people that have checked in stuff. And there, see my nice little note, Cura, added SVN text. So if the game just broke, I can see what files were added onto the server. And I can also right click on that and I can go revert, revert these changes. So you can roll back changes if somebody breaks something or something. You know what I mean? It's really, really handy. So you got to make sure that you always add notes. Um, OK, so for example, you just asked me, what, what, what do I, I do? Stuff too, but he's adding stuff right now. Should I wait for him? Everybody can add all the time. It doesn't matter. Um, it, different stuff. So if a programmer's work got the build open and working on a build, and such and such character artist wants to commit an animation, that's OK, right? Or a Maya file or something like that. Does that make sense? So different assets can be added. But for example, if no two programmers can have the build open at one time. Or like if, if Malik is working on like a the master level or something, a programmer can't have the master build open. Or actually, maybe they can. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So um, because it's it's basically you can't work on the same file. Two people can't work on the same file at once. But if like level designer affects, I'm not sure what files it actually affects when level guys save as opposed to when programmer guys save. So. I mean, in, in our project dev class, we have level guys working on the build while programmers are working on the build. But we do a lot other, we do some other stuff, and I'm not really privy to that, our programmer guy does it. Anyways, okay, so you were talking about you wanted to commit some stuff, right? Right. So, so what? SVN checkout. So you're, you're in art. No, you, no, th that process is over. SVN checkout, that's, all, that's right. all over. Once this folder's green, no more checking out of nothing. Yeah. So. Going to bury the hatchet. So what are you committing here? Uh, 3D assets. 3D assets. Okay, so we're going to make a new folder in here. So you make the new folder. Right click, new. Inside game or inside project model? Uh, outside of game. Okay, I did it. And call that folder arts. Okay, arts. And uh, now go inside that folder. And what are you adding? Uh, three RARs. Should I unrar them or? Yeah, you should probably unrar them. What's what's in them? Uh, just three models. Just the, the, the um, I put OBJs and uh, binary files in there. Okay. So for example, so I'm gonna let you Actually, do this. Okay. So I have to separate. One's one's for platform and cube. The other one's the doors. Okay. And then the other one. Is so the so throw some doors models. up in there. So art and then go new another folder in there and call it doors. Right. Then throw the assets in there. Whatever art files they are. And then go to. So let me know when you're done. So is it usually more generally structured than this? Like, say, models, materials? So, like, like you could structure it any way you want. If you go to SVM update, it should appear. All right, so, so I added the commit in yeah. art. Okay, so what you do now, back out to the art directory, right click on the art directory, and go to Tortoise SVN add. And then go and then right click on it after that and then go to uh, commit. And hit OK. Completed. Did you yeah, and then commit it? Right click, commit. And then add a little note, your last name, dash. Yeah, my chain of custody. Mm -hmm. Doors and such. Try updating on the natural door show. I will. Um, I'm gonna wait till he commits his. Oh. Um. So did you commit it, Malik? Yeah, it's already committed. All right. Is it? Tell me when that's finished. And done. Okay. So now everybody, right click on bury the hatchet, and SVN update, and this is gonna pull the entire game that Malik put up and the art folder that he put up. Good update. Yeah. SVN update. So now everybody should have the game on their computer. So if I'm gonna like make changes to the game, I'm going to save to the. Uh, you save. You now directory. save in this folder. In that directory. And then when you're finished working on it, you commit the changes. Okay.
So every time you walk into class, if anybody that's going to work on the build, the very first thing you do is right click on Bury the Hatchet and go SVN Update. Because mm -hmm. you always want to make sure you're working on the latest and greatest files. Because you got 20 people in here and they're all committing stuff. Make sense? Yeah. Are you able to drag these files onto a USB or are they locked into SVN? They're not locked. You can, you can move the files and, and do whatever you want with them. It takes forever to update. What the heck? Well, I mean, they're he just committed downloads. what? A bunch of gigs worth of crap. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll debug that here in a second. But it'll, and it's only, it's only take us a long time to just did a huge dump into it, basically. What's that? I said it's only take us so long to just did a huge dump into it. Yeah, he just put a huge dump in it. It won't, it won't take, the next time it'll. Our texture guy did, did all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it won't take that long this time. And that's it. Tutorial over.